Well, it's cheap, it's easy to get, and it's killing young people across our area. Action News Jack's Paige Kelton has spent the last month investigating the alarming resurgence of a dangerously addictive drug, a drug one local mom calls a dream killer. My son's name was Jeremy. Um, he was 24 years old. I'm sorry. Okay. One week after his 24th birthday, Jeremy Davis died of a heroin overdose. He was dead for three to four days, they said, before they found him. Still had a needle in his arm, slumped over against the wall, sitting on a toilet, fully dressed. Jeremy's death is part of a growing trend. According to the Florida Department of Law Enforcement, in one year, Florida saw a 126% increase in occurrences of heroin and a 111% increase in heroin deaths. Powerfully addictive, heroin is injected, snorted, or smoked. It's become the drug of choice for many young people. When did you first use heroin? Mm, about 14. 14 years old. Where'd you get it? I'd rather not say. How powerful is this drug? I mean, what is it, as soon as it enters your body, what does it feel like? There is no word to describe it. It's just euphoria. It takes away every, every worry and care in the world. And then it's also like, it's evil because then all you want is more. Sarah is a recovering addict. She's one of the lucky ones. Where are these drugs coming from? Well, obviously, your heroin and, and cocaine, the, the bulk of that comes out of Mexico into Texas and then filters out from there to the different states. The 2011 Florida crackdown on pill mills meant fewer meds and higher prices on the black market. Drug users turned to cheaper, more easily accessible drugs like heroin. The Clay County Sheriff's Office tells me after a three-year lull, heroin cases began to increase in 2013. By 2015, the numbers had nearly quadrupled. In Jacksonville, this 2014 medical examiner's report shows the majority of heroin-related deaths involve people 34 and under. It's skewing younger and younger. Bill Gaylor is clinical director at Beach's Recovery. Can you ever beat your addiction? Sure, yeah. But Sarah tells me winning that internal battle with the drug takes excruciating effort, a willingness to change, and both professional and family support. I thought I was destined to die. I was just another junkie living behind a grocery store, sleeping in a tent. And today I'm employable. I have family back and I'm happy. So it's possible. But for others like Jeremy Davis, the call for help came too late. The 24 year old had filled out an application to enter rehab. He died with it still sitting in his car. He would sit right here and tell you, Mom, I hate being an addict. You don't know how I feel. You know, he says, I don't know how to stop, and I don't know how to stop him. Family members, law enforcement, recovering addicts tell me the only way to stop heroin use is through education, intervention, and of course, treatment. Now, I've placed a number of resources for people who are battling substance abuse and their family members on our website. My investigation into this local epidemic doesn't end here. Tonight at 11, how the heroin epidemic is changing the way JSO fights crime. In the studio, Paige Kelton, CBS 47 Action News Jax.